What's up, Yoon fam? It is I, Mark Yoon, and today I'm bringing another hopefully exciting video. And so what I got for you today is a little discussion piece that I wanted to go over with you guys and see what you think. Obviously, the comment section are going to be open for all of us to consider these possibilities. And not only that, but just discuss our general opinions and, um, I guess, ideas about the surrounding topic. So what I wanted to talk about is a little bit of an ensuing... I guess rivalry we can say that is not yet upon us but is in the works um, so as season 3 is closing out we have our last Leda character according to the data files and other things and other sources being Kwang Sung Gyung and um, I'm guessing he's going to be announced at the end of October and release uh, early to mid November but we also have our season three to contend with the possibility of a season three and we do know that there are character files uh in the data files that would be for a season pass three we've gone over them multiple times before uh reptile most likely being aeon rock most likely being uh or stone most likely being rock uh star most likely being young sung Yoon Song. I've heard some people say Algol. I've made multiple videos on that in the past, so I'm not going to over reiterate myself with that. That's not what this video is about. Um, and a guest character. And that should close out, I guess, Soul Calibur 6 as a whole uh, to prepare for the next game. Yeah. Now, I'm assuming we're going to get more character packs and character creation packs in there. We might even get some post after that. Just uh, stuff that hasn't been ported over from 4 and 5 yet that we still have yet to receive. Except for obviously the in-game exclusive stuff like Jin Kazama's wear or even um, stuff back from 3 like the Xenosaga stuff. Like obviously we'll never see that stuff again because that's exclusive. But with that out of the way, I wanted to get into the topic of today's video. So what could be the benefits of having both Huang Sung Gyeong and Hong Yoon Song in the game together? They have been in the games together um, you can see from my intro and from other things, Soul Calibur 3 had them both in the same game. This was uh, mainly in the uh, world release or the arcade release of the game, and but you could create him um, in Soul Calibur 3 in the United States version of the game, the NTSC. But I'm not sure, I, th I think he does actually, there is a version of Soul Calibur the arcade edition that was released outside of that on disc that you actually do have uh, Huang Sung Young in as well as Hong Yoon Song, but with both of them being in the game, especially in this uh, new timeline, so we have the reboot, right? Um, so after we reboot the franchise and everybody's starting over from scratch from their Soul Calibur 1 stories and branching off into a completely new dimension, uh, or direction rather, that is pretty much spearheading the way against Soul Calibur 5, if I'm being honest. Um, so we have all these characters with their new rivalries and their new ambitions or even just like starting out as similar as possible because Soul Calibur 1 had a pretty tight uh, branching story and then going into what is the, in the unforeseen future. We have hints here and there we've covered on the channel many times before about like ways that the, the channel, ways that their game could be going story-wise, um, different plot points and, and the like. but. It's always it's interesting to me the fact that Yoon, Yoon Song and uh, Song Gyeong could be back in the same game together. First thing being is maybe we could actually get a good Korean stage. Um, that would be awesome and excellent. Maybe we can get um, Song Mina's Song Family uh, Dojon. That would be a great stage. We don't really have anything similar to that. I would say maybe. Yeah, no, we don't have anything similar to that, so, I mean, it would be nice to get that in there. Plus, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen, but Korean buildings look a lot different than uh, Japanese traditional buildings or Chinese traditional buildings. Um, there you have more uh, rounded edges and curved edges. I don't know. Architecture aside, it would be nice to see just a different aesthetic in the game for those. Not only that, but we get to have more character development for Sung Mina. So, Sung Mina has been one of the characters that they've attempted at giving more development depth to, but it hasn't really panned out as... Uh, as well as I would have liked. Now, the thing is, Sung Mina character is much like her Soul Calibur 1 counterpart, where she's young and brash, she has a strong will on her shoulders, she wants to do the right thing, but she also wants to go out and adventure, right? Um, she's not really down for doing what she's supposed to do, she wants to do her own thing. 
Well, we had uh, her, I guess, friendship to to uh, Huang in the past, and that didn't really branch off into much outside of like a brotherly sisterly type of thing. And we've talked about before how it would be nice to see Sung Min actually get like somewhat of a romantic angle with uh, Huang Sung Young. And we can give that traditional brother type role over to Hong Yoon Song. So we can get a lot more story and depth out of both of them. And uh, remember, this is a reboot, so their branching stories are going to extend outward into the universe that we're not sure 100% where it's going to lead yet. Um, it's not set in stone what's going to happen in the future of the game. That's the whole purpose of the reboot itself. But the fact that they could also start new relationships and add to more story elements and plot elements. There's also the impact of uh, team-ups. So we already have our main cast and crew that go out on their main adventure, right? We have like the we always see the standardized like Shanghua, Maxi, and Kilik, um, and the like. We also see the valent villains band together, usually under Nightmare or something akin to that around there, but. Now we'll have a third subset group that maybe has their own goals or ambitions that could lead to different or bigger events happening in the future, and it could also lead to entanglements that <clears throat> that we're not sure can lead to, you know, either the ultimate seeds coming to fruition or being destroyed. This also may play into the uh, the villain of the next game. There's just a lot of things that a lot of threads, untangled threads that this could actually lead towards. Another thing would be a good chance to revamp one of the characters. Now, I'm, I've am i always said that like out of the two characters that needs a revamping, I believe that Huang Sung Young probably deserved a revamp more so than Hong Yoon Song. But being that Yoon Song is slated to possibly being the final character of Season 3 when it's released, that leads me to think that he needs more development time than Huang Sung Young. So I think that Huang is actually going to be tweaked. I don't think he's going to be exactly the same as he was in the past, but I think he's still going to get the Chinese short sword. Unfortunately, I wish he would get like a different weapon, but that's where it lies, I think. Um, Hong comes into play. So I'm, I'm hoping that Hong actually gets like a completely different weapon than he has used in the past. I know he started out as pretty much like a clone of like Huang um, and branched off into his own thing. We know that like... Huang has more of a kick-based Taekyeon moveset, and Hong is more of a, a sword acrobatics character. But I want to see those delved into further, which obviously they will, but I want them to be completely different. Now, it's not bad if they have the same weapon. That's not what I'm saying. We have multiple characters in the game that have a similar weapon with completely different fighting styles, uh, such as Cassandra and Sophitia, Raphael and Amy, um... Even Siegfried and Nightmare to an extent. I mean, like, there's a lot of sameness with those, but it also creates a complete different, unique play style. Um, obviously, it'll give us a chance to, like, have a, I guess, a more grounded move set when it comes to the actual martial arts themselves, because we have seen them implement them in both of the characters before. So, seeing that we would go back branching from brand new character standpoints, it would be awesome if we can actually implement more Taekyeon into Huang's move set. And maybe give us more of a grappling style for for Yoon Song. Uh, combined his sword techniques, you know, with grapples and throws, and it would acrobatics like flips and stuff. It'll make him a lot more of a character where you can go kick heavy with Wong or strike heavy. I think that would actually lead to more immersive and intense gameplay, especially amongst the two, and we can rekindle their rivalry. Maybe we even have a love triangle situation where Yoon Song and Song Young are both vying for the attention and affections of Song Mina and you know we have this kind of rivalry biting in the works that actually may lead to one of them going astray and turning evil even perhaps there's so many different possibilities they can go with both of the characters being implemented into the game so I don't know there's just like it's it's hard to talk off the cuff about this kind of stuff when we don't have any idea of where the branches are leading like obviously if we play Libra of Souls there's a lot of implications that are involved there and a lot of story threads that are pointing towards certain directions but when it comes to the korean characters in the game there's not really a thing there yet sung mina is pretty much just like brash and adventurous and she saves some of the heroes in uh, libra she interacts with your character 
there's a lot going on there, but she doesn't really have it there there yet. And I think that the implementation of both characters could actually bring out two different sides to Sun Mina that will actually help all three characters with character development and move the plot and story along. Anyway, that's my thoughts on that. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I'm interested to hear your opinions as always. All opinions are welcome down there. Um, I just want to get a conversation started, seeing where different plot threads could lead. I want to see your different ideas and takes on the implementation of the characters being introduced all together for the first time in a long time, and um, whether you is it's something you would like to see or whatever. And I know that the subject of Huang sometimes is a touchy subject for some reason, because there's some people that are just wholly against him. I have no idea why. Um, well, I mean, I know why, but I don't see any validity to their actual opinions, but... With that being said, guys, we're going to bring this video to a close. Thank you for watching. Uh, I will see you tomorrow. I'll see you in the comment section and on Discord and all that good stuff. And as always, thank you. And thank you. Hey, what's up, guys? Have you always wanted some sweet Mark Yoon merch? Maybe a Thick You shirt? Maybe a shirt from Squirt? Maybe my pretty face with my logo all over your body? Or a throw pillow? Or blanket? Or anything? Well... You're in luck because I just launched my merch store and it is going to be available on Redbubble and you will find a link to it in my description box down below. It's got a lot of quality content and a lot of good stuff for you to pick up so you can show your support for the channel and just rep Mark Yoon.